Leanne Pace is one of the most naturally gifted athletes in the golfing world. She didn't even take up the game until she was 18, spending her younger years playing tennis and field hockey, where she ended up as a member of the South African national squad. Once she picked up the clubs, it only took two years to get the handicap down to plus two, which led to a college scholarship. After a successful amateur career, she turned pro, and in just her fourth season on the LET, Leanne won five times on her way to claiming the Order of Merit and the Player of the Year awards in 2010. Never expected anything like that, so it hit me with a bit of a shock. I don't think I actually felt everything like I should have felt, that it was just kept coming, and it was a great experience. And afterwards, I sat down and I was like, yeah, that was, that was kind of cool, you know, that was great. So uh, I, I, try, I carried that over into last year and, and tried to have the same mentality. Obviously, it was a bit different uh, expectations from everywhere and also very much for myself. Um, and I think that, uh, that kept, held me back a little bit last year. Leanne finished second three times in 2011, and she also had seven other top ten finishes before finishing fifth in the order of merit. The 30-year-old has plans later in the year to head to America's LPGA qualifying school. But the South African's introduction to golf US style got off to a shivering start at Murray State University in Kentucky. Oh, at first, I must say, it was quite an adaptation. I got there, it was about minus 10 degrees. I'd never seen snow in my life before. I called my mum, I got pneumonia for the first two weeks, so yeah, it was, it was quite something. But then uh, when the golf started, um, I seemed to adapt quite quickly, played quite nicely, um, transferred to University of Tulsa after that, and just loved it. Loved being in America and competing on that uh, college tour, I think made me a better player. With tennis and field hockey in the rear view mirror now, Leanne has found another hobby to keep her occupied when not on the golf course. She's addicted to the sport of surfing. And while on Australia's Gold Coast for the season opening ANZ Ladies Masters, she took the chance to soak up some of the Australian sun and chase a few waves. I love it being in the water. I think if I could have been a swimmer, I would have. But being on the board and just, it just it's being free, you know, being in the water, it's great. And Leanne was lucky enough to be joined by two-time world surfing champion yeah, Mick video. Fanning when she made the trip to Kira Beach. The world number one in 2007 and 2009 was the perfect person to pass on a few tips to a novice. It's on the Association of Surfing Professionals World Tour that he excels, and he shows skills like this. So there was no better man to put Ms. Pace through her paces. Once you feel the wave pushing you along, yeah. just just take your time. There's no rush to get up. Okay. People sort of freak out and want to get up yeah, as yeah. quick as possible. You don't have to. Nah, but it, if you just get up and just cruise and take your time and then set your feet, then you'll be fine. Okay. So, okay, so what, what you want to do, you want to get up, yeah. maybe put this knee up first, okay. and then set that front foot. Okay. So get up. So knee. put your knee and then your front foot, there you go. Oh, OK. Mick proved to be a pretty adept instructor, as it didn't take Leanne long to be up and riding in the Kira Whitewater. And despite the early success, the Mossel Bay resident happily admits a serious case of surf envy when she watches professionals like Mick and some of the more skillful amateurs hitting the waves off the coast of South Africa. I see the guys at the back and they just you know, cruising down the way, we're like, oh man, that must be like, I must be like a 24 handicap or something for them. They're like, ah, oh, look at that girl, she can't surf. But uh, I'm trying, and hopefully in, in a couple of years I'll be able to be in the back waves. Still, a 45 minute one on one lesson with one of the best in the business will no doubt help Leanne's quest to become an accomplished surfer. And Fanning, who at 30 has already tried, failed and retired frustrated from a career as a social golfer, sees some strong similarities between the two sports, mental and physical. The, uh, the whole mental attitude is definitely something, you know, being patient and, uh, you know, really thinking about it all. Um, and then, yeah, the core strength of it all is the same sort of deal as well. You've got to have it all in the middle. You're great, yeah, that's your first wave straight up and then by the end she was turning. You know, be a pro surfer. <laughs> no, awesome, he actually taught me quite a lot uh, today. 
Um, I got my balance a little bit easier, so I'm excited to go back to South Africa and try it a little bit more because it's my it's my best hobby. So I I just yeah, I'm, I'm amazed today. Really happy that I got to meet him. What an awesome guy! So down to earth. I've actually invited him for a bit of golf when he comes to J Bay. So hopefully we can meet up.